Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. A dust statesman and senior voice of Nigeria, Robert Clark, has alleged that the result tendered by NEC in court in the legal is, is the only legal evidence. If you would recall that lawyers of Mr. Peter Obi said in court this week that INEC rejected the CTC certified true copy brought by them to the court. Senior Voice of Nigeria, Robert Clark, has pointed out that the credibility of an election at the tribunal is strictly based on standards of the Electoral Commission. He stated that the Electoral Act has been given the Electoral Commission the power to authenticate results. According to him, the document brought by Labour Party to court would be disregarded if it doesn't tally with the results of the Independent National Electoral Commission. He said, if you say there is malpractice at the end of the day, you have shown to the tribunal how many voters were lost due to the malpractice. But then, INEC has been backing the backing as the backing of the law, the result is the only legal evidence in the court. So it is very rare to say and prove they have done wrong. If the opposition has two million votes and the petitioner says there are issues with hundred thousand votes, the opposition will say that will say they take hundred thousand votes and it should leave them with more than more with more votes. The Independent National Electoral Commission is the electoral body which oversees election in Nigeria. It was established in 1998, shortly before the Nigerian transition from military to civilian rule. General Busalam Abubakar established the current INEC with Justice Ephraim Apata as chairman. Apata had to deal with 26 political associations, given only nine provisional registration as political parties from the 1998 to 1999 election, eventually whittled down to three parties. Despite efforts to ensure free and fair election, the process drew serious criticism from international observers. After Apata died in January 2000, the government of President Olusegun Obasanjo appointed Abel Gobadia, Nigerian chief, chief electoral officer, a position that was confirmed by the Nigerian Senate in May 2000. Gobadia was responsible for the 2003 election, which were marred by widespread violence and other irregularities. In June 2005, Gobadia retired and was and was succeeded by Professor Maurice Iwu. Soon after being appointed, Iwu announced that foreign monitors would be allowed during election, but only foreign election observers. The decision was condemned by politicians and civil society groups who called for his immediate removal from office. The conduct of the 2007 election was again criticized as falling below acceptable democratic standard. On age 2010, on the 8th of June 2010, Professor Aitairu Mohamed Jaga was nominated by President Goodluck Jonathan as the new INEC chairman, subject to Senate confirmation, as a replacement for Uwu, who had vacated the post on 28th of April 2010. Jaga's nomination as any chairman followed approval by the meeting of the National Council of the State, called by President Jonathan and attended by former head of state Yakubu Gomon, Mamadou Buhari, Ibrahim Babangida, Abdul Salam Abubakar, Ene Shunekon, Olusegun Obasanjo, and Shegu Shagari. The Senate President David Mark, Speaker of the House of Representatives Oladimeji Bankole, and most of the state governors also attended the meeting. One anonymous approval by the Council of the nominee for this critical appointment avoided controversy about whether or not the president should appoint the chairman of the for the INEC. 
reaction to the announcement from a broad spectrum of political leaders and organizations were positive, although steam voiced concern that it could be too late to implement real reforms before the 2011 election. During the campaign of the 2015 general election, Itari Jaga faced fierce criticism from both the opposition and the ruling party. Atairo Jega five-year term came to an end in June, 20, June 30, 2015, and though he was disqualified for reappointment, the chances of such became remote given the allegation of bias against him by campaign officials of President Kulok Jonathan. President Mamadou Bari appointed Mahmoud Yakubu as INEC chairman. Yakub, Yakubu took over the Amino Bala Zakari took over from Amino Bala Zakari, who was acting chairman after Jega left. The INEC has encountered several controversies in the run-up to election in the country, most notably the AP 2007 general election, including criticism about its preparedness for Saeed Abubakar, Sultan of Shokoto, and a dispute over the disqualification of Vice President Atiku Abubakar candidacy. The Supreme Court ruled that the INEC cannot disqualify candidates, so Abubakar's name was named to the ballot on the last minute. In the build-up of 2015 general election, the INEC under Jega introduced smart card reader for the verification of voters and their voters' card to minimize incidents of fraud and rigging. The introduction of the card reader was held by all aided by many Nigerians, but a group of four minor political parties who claimed to be acting on behalf of 15 political parties kick against it and urged the INEC to suspend the use of card readers in the 2015 election. The 2015 election were ad adjudged and most credible free and fair election since the, since the return of democracy in 1999. The INEC was accused of widespread electoral irregularities in the 2019 presidential election, including cases of ballot paper unavailable, smart card readers malfunctioning, the large cancellation of valid votes, the main opposition people from the Democratic Party and its presidential candidates changed the results of the election in court. The INEC was accused of widespread electoral irregularities in the 2019 presidential general election. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.